Bonjour. This is Val Prey for the Netoros DID. Today I decided to talk about phobias. I was actually watching a popular program that was mentioned about phobias and I thought it might be a good idea to make a video about it. My phobia now in this life would be hardly enough the reaction of people around me when they know that I have the idea it's a huge issue that I personally have because I have an accent the others don't so I'm sure you've heard me mention before I know when we go out somewhere if I'm the one who start talk to somebody in an office or when we go somewhere and then uh, we switch out the ridicule concerns me or if uh, somebody else is speaking and they don't have the accent like I do and then I come about it concerns me it's a uh, I would say it's a phobia because having dissociative identity disorder is a lot to deal with and the way that people's perceptions of you with having it is also a lot to deal with. Uh, everybody in the world has an opinion and there are some of us who like Laura don't care about anybody's opinions I think that can be a wonderful thing but I don't have that ability it concerns me greatly when we go to normal things like a doctor's appointment We had to go to court the other day for a ticket. Uh, it was for light being out on the vehicle. And uh, it was taken care of. But uh, Laura was in the body all day long. And then uh, we were in the line to go into the courtroom. And... For one reason or another, it uh, would change to me. I came to the front. It wasn't by my choosing, and obviously it wouldn't be because of my phobia, my issue with uh, everybody around us being able to tell or being able to know in that fashion. It's a great disadvantage. And I guess somewhere inside I feel that people consider mental disorders, they consider you to be crazy, they consider a lot of things. We are very outspoken about having dissociative identity disorder. However, in the day-to-day -day life that directly affects you, it's somehow different. Somehow when the people are directly around you, it's a lot different than to make the videos and to share it. So know that this, this is a difficult thing to share with somebody. It's important to do it because there's a lot of systems out there that don't have a voice or can't have a voice because of the same issues. And I won't allow that to hold us back. But I want you to know that I, I do have this issue. So I went forward. 
and I don't outwardly appear or act like I have the issue because that just draws more attention to yourself and I'm not trying to do that but inside I do have that issue and we went to a doctor the other day to have the MRI done and stuff like this and we had some switching going on and uh, again I try to push myself to the front when we have to talk to somebody because I'm the one that they heard when we went in uh, the only one that they heard talk was myself uh, except for one time when we were actually in the MRI and uh, is either Laura or Sir Laura, I can't remember which because it is difficult and confusing when you're doing the rapid switch and then continuous switch and, and it's bad when you're caught in that situation and you're in public because this is not a disorder that you want to be directly in public with not not when you're around the people directly we are in public with the disorder hopefully helping others understand the disorder and hopefully helping other systems but when you are, have the people directly around you is different is more is harder and that's why I say it's a phobia for me because they can tell more directly and if a Salora goes out and uh, change to Laura is not as visible only because uh, when they speak they sound similar and uh, the fact that Laura has learned to uh, for a lot, I will not really act, I say maintain maintain what somebody else is doing or maintain uh, how somebody else has behaved I can do this and they can do that when I'm the one who has uh, been talking or has been uh, at the front so it can be complicated and I guess it is a fear of mine to be able to be directly ridiculed and our daughter she say oh if it happens you just uh, tell them you have the ID what are they going to do what they're going to say but uh, there's a lot that could be said and there's a lot of reactions that could be had and it's uncomfortable it's uncomfortable I wanted to share that with all of you if you're another DID system I'm sure that you have come into this same situation especially if you have uh, those of you who behave extremely different or have uh, different vaccines and uh, different behaviors, things like this, you're not alone. And there are the phobias within each individual. The others have different phobias, I'm sure, but this is mine that I want to share with you. Thank you for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave a comments uh, as many as you wish. We are more than happy to answer any questions you may have. This has been Valpre for the Notorious DID and I say adios.